Hello and welcome to a new video where I will be painting on some more tote bags. In the intro you can see two other tote bags I made in the first video, I'll link it down below. First of all I start off with uh, painting over this design I made based on my home wrecker painting. Um, yeah, I just really disliked it, how it turned out on the tote bag. I painted it when it was quite dark, so I, when I was painting I was like, oh my god, this looks great, but it was so muddy. Here I'm showing you the sketches. I finally prepared three sketches. I will be, will be painting on three tote bags. So yeah, let's start off with the first one. So for the first one, I have again a face and the bust will be dripping and then I will add some eyeballs to the hair. It was supposed to be a female face, or at least in a sketch, I think it was based on a picture of myself, or well, kind of. Um, but she doesn't, it doesn't really look as feminine anymore. I don't really like these words, but I mean, I think you know what I mean. But I like the outcome anyway, I actually am quite pleased with the three tote bags I have made now. And it also worked pretty much on the first try, or at least with the first one it definitely worked out. So yeah. As you can tell, I just sketched it out with uh, paint immediately. I don't do a pencil sketch or something else, I don't like that. Just use my old paint directly. Then I um, take my brown to basically um, point out the shadows on the face, on the body. And then I add white to it so that I can blend everything and create a skin color like that. It's really satisfying to see all the white spaces on the tote bag being filled in. And yeah, you can really just see the face come alive. The trickiest thing is definitely to do with the nose and um, the eyes because I don't want it to be one big smudge. Um, I also try to avoid just using very dark bold outlines. Even though I like those things, you should also be able to just create a, an, a clear face with just, um, you know, your white and your brown or your skin tones like that. And then yeah, the hair is just gonna be yellow because I wanted something that stood out from the skin tone. Adding some brown in the hair to, you know, create contrast. Uh, the side it wasn't big enough, so I added some black. I also added some more darker colors to the drips um, because, you know, also to just make him stand out more. Going back in the face, trying to fill out all the white spots from the gesso. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, but just as in the first video, I prepped all my canvas with a layer of gesso, as you saw in the beginning when I covered up the home wrecker design. Then defining the shadows a bit more. And I also, at the end of the trips, I decided to go for a bold outline because I really wanted to stand out. I also hope that this camera angle isn't really that bothersome. I know it's a bit weird that you can't really see it from my point of view. Um, I tried to turn my screen but then it look, looked really out of proportion. I don't have a big enough tripod to film from behind me or from above. So I either way film sideways or in front of me. I think you can still kind of see what's going on but yeah let me know in the future. I hope that I will have different materials to work with. Now I'm adding some black to the face to, you know, again, make bigger contrast with the outlines. And then I'm just filling in the last things, such as the lips, which I did way too much like looks like the person has lip filler so i'm trying to tone it down a bit then i'm gonna go back in the eye and then the eyeballs in the hair which i saved for last
And here is the result. I like this a lot. Yeah, I was really feeling it. Then onto the second design, which was the one with the bow and the wings, because I really liked the wing tote bag I made in my first video. But this one was a lot harder. Um, I made these all on the same day, but here I tried to sketch out a face and I didn't like how it looked, so I'm gonna wipe it off and then start again. And yeah, it was just the whole thing here, see me wiping it off. Then it was just too muddy. I tried again, but then it was just too muddy, and then I just added another layer of chest, so I had to let that dry. And here I'm painting over the home record design. You can still see it kind of peeking through, which doesn't really bother me. It just has to be light enough or cl clean enough that I can put another design on it. And yeah, it will just be covered up, you know, like a tattoo uh, cover up or something. You can still sometimes kind of see the design, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's just, it's gonna look good. Trust me. And I'll just add an. Um, aura around the design so that it will be you know covered up eventually so i'm sketching again with just my paint directly making the face you know getting my proportions right i already kind of added some shadows with brown for the skin and the body so here's a different angle yeah, I'm really just searching how I want to film everything. You know, when, I have, when I'm working on a big piece, it's really easy because I can just put the camera on like a table or whatever behind me and then I'll just paint and you can see a time lapse like that from the correct point of view. But here on smaller surfaces, it's really hard because well, yeah, I also have only one camera. So it's kind of a search, but I mean, you get the idea. So like I said, the first design I made, I'll definitely add a picture for the throat bags, was like this profile of a woman with long hair and she had like wings coming from her back and I really loved the design so much that I wanted to make another design where I would like incorporate wings. And that's this one. I don't like it as much as the first one, which you know is kind of common whenever you retry something that you liked before, it doesn't end up as good as the first try. But yeah, anyway, I still like it enough to keep, it wasn't definitely uh, the improvement of like the home record that was first on this canvas or on the stone bag. Now I'm painting a bold outline around the bow. I also want to say sorry, you will have a lot of glare, especially in this shot, like you've seen, because the window is behind me, so the sunlight was just reflecting too much on the paint, and I would, now I try to back it with my, you know, with my back and my body. But yeah, you'll see that. In the end, you will see a better look on the result. Now I'm filling in the wings with white. Exactly the same as I did in my first video. So I first uh, drew out with paint the blue lines of the wings, like the feathers, and then I fill it in with white and mix it with the blue. So I create the shadows. Eventually I'll add some more details with like black to make it a bit darker, some um, areas and then some white to get like some highlights. I wanted this design to look kind of like a cherub. Um, I really like those paintings or statues so that's why I'm giving her kind of like this ooh, look with her mouth I don't know how to explain it and also like the wavy curls I feel like Charps always have like this wavy curly uh, haircut so yeah that's this for this one and it's finished um, you can't see it in this shot but I actually added some paint over the home wrecker to completely cover it and let's move on to our last one which I also for this one have a design where the bust would be kind of dripping but instead of like drips you'll have like these spikes coming out and out of the spikes will also come some cobwebs because I like how that looks yeah again just with paint I immediately go into the design sketch it out add some brown and start with the face I think of all three, this was probably my favorite one. Yeah.
again as with the first one I um, wanted the spikes to stand out more so I add this black outline to it the hair was also gonna be very dark because I already had two blonde people now it's time for you know a little bit of something different so I use black and then blue for the highlights in the hair here I'm painting the cobwebs the spider webs Now I'm just uh, creating some more detail in the face, make the nose stand out more. I also need to add the eyebrows, which I'm doing now. I find noses so hard to paint, you know, without like just putting a bold outline onto it. I always struggle. So yeah, here again I'm covering up the background a bit more so that you can't see what was laying underneath. And here's a finished result as well. Woo, so we made three. Now the only thing that's left to do is putting a layer of varnish on every single design. I use glossy varnish so that the, it will all shine and pop. And yeah, and then these stone bags are finished and can be used. I'm really happy with the three I made now and yeah, let me know what you think. Thank you so so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. I have three third back left to paint so I can definitely make another video. So yeah, thank you again and enjoy your day, night or evening. Bye bye!